Steve Gelbs must have been hanging out with Keith Hernandez in the first game. We didn't see hide nor hair of him, but I think he's with us for the second game. And Steve's report is brought to you by Tito's handmade vodka. Tito's is hoping that you're here, Steve. Are you? Gary, I'm here, and let me tell you, the amount of prep that I did in that first game, these hits tonight are going to be spectacular. But I'm here with Jim Penders. It's UConn night here at City Field. He's the UConn head coach for the baseball team, and, and he actually had some bad flashbacks with that Jerko home run. He said that's the amount of times or that's something that I've seen too often at West Virginia when he used to do that against you guys at UConn. Yeah back in the Big East he got us a few times as a heck of a hitter and uh, he did that more than a few times against us over the years. Jim we spoke to you last year. Uh, you have built such an incredible program in the Northeast at UConn. 38 players drafted or signed into the major leagues that you took over in 2004. Why do you think you've been able to build up such an incredible pipeline again in the Northeast. Well number one it's easy to sell the institution now it's a much different place than it was when I went to school there in the early 90s it's it's the 19th best public university in the country right now and we've been climbing very quickly and uh, we seem to attract kids from really you know hard working families kids that uh, want to get after it in the classroom and on the field and they got to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder if they're going to play in the pool with UConn and and uh, we, we think we've done a pretty good job of, of attracting those guys and the Mets have three of them now so it's good. Well they have one that they just drafted in the first round this year Anthony K out of Ward Melville High School and then to UConn. What type of player what type of pitcher do the Mets get in K. Well, he, I've said it a, a few times. He's the most complete pitcher that I've coached. Uh, he's, he can feel this position. He locates the fastball better than any left-hander I've ever coached or coached against. Um, he's got a Long Island swagger and a toughness about him that's real. It's not uh, contrived. Uh, he knows he knows how to feel his position, how to hold runners. He pitches with the mind of a 30-year-old, but the body and the arm of a 21 year old I think he's going to be really special for, for the Mets in, in quick fashion. Too. How did you see him grow over the years. Just the uh, I think being able to control his emotions and channel his emotions the right way. Uh, he's better when there's runners on. You know if there's a runner at second base it doesn't happen that often with him. But when there was he'd make his best pitches. And I think maybe his freshman year he might have struggled a bit if there were an error behind him. Um, he'd have to learn how to control that and use that to his advantage. Use that anger, you know, constructively rather than destructively. He figured that out the last two years, and his growth was exponential. Jim uh, Colton Long decided our time together is finished, but that was fantastic. Thank you so much. Great seeing you as always, and uh, good luck on the upcoming season. Thanks a lot, Steve. Appreciate it. All right, we are through.